Welcome back. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan will meet with members of the Chinese Communist Party tomorrow in Alaska in a first face-to-face -face meeting since President Biden took office. The CCP has been testing the Biden administration from day one, instituting sanctions on former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Trade Advisor Peter Navarro, among other Trump officials, marching into Hong Kong with new authoritarian rules and bullying its neighbors in the South China Sea. Last week, the CCP held its annual five-year legislative agenda to reinforce its goals to become the number one superpower of the world, overtaking the United States. Most people know that I've been sounding the alarm on this communist regime for years now. And now, even the left is joining me. Here's Bill Maher last week. Do you know who doesn't care that there's a stereotype of a Chinese man in a Dr. Seuss book? China. All 1.4 billion of them could give a crouching tiger flying f On a national level, we've been having infrastructure week every week since 2009. But we never do anything. Half the country is having a never-ending woke competition deciding whether Mr. Potato Head has a d <laughs> And the other half believes we have to stop the lizard people because they're eating babies. He's partly right, but what Marr fails to say is the why. Why is China appearing to win? How can they put up a skyscraper in 19 days and build their economy so fast? The answer is because the CCP has no moral compass. There is no fairness. There is no equality. There are no property rights. The decision comes down from the hardliner, Xi Jinping, and his communist cronies. If you're the one living in a spot where they want that skyscraper to go, you will be moved, and they will put you where they want, because they're building a skyscraper, and that is the priority. And you should know that, and you should know how to show your loyalty to the CCP. If you do not follow the rules, well, then you could be sent to a re-education camp, or worse. The CCP has been very clear. The priority is returning China to its rightful place, overtaking America as the number one superpower, economically and militarily, by the year 2049. They will do this through the Belt and Road Initiative, through civil military fusion, and other avenues. If you are a business operating in China, you will also turn over all documents and data of your customers should the CCP want it. These are the rules. The party is the priority, not the people. All companies that can be helpful to the military and strengthen the CCP will do as they are told. Civil military fusion and the new national security laws are central to the communist regime's strategy. If you criticize the CCP, you are subject to jail. If you do not adhere to the rules, you may be disappeared and trashed in the state-run media. We're all still wondering, what happened to Chinese billionaire Jack Ma, the founder of China's jewel, Alibaba? He had his gigantic IPO of the Ant Group scrapped, and then Ma himself was not seen publicly for two months after making the mistake of criticizing the CCP's financial services rules. We do not know what happened. We do not know if he was learning obedience. This is an important angle to understand for all of those U.S. companies who are right now gearing up to enjoy the licenses that they've been granted by the CCP to operate 100 percent owned businesses in China. Here's what former Attorney General Bill Barr told me about that last year. I was talking with one money manager the other day, and he said, look, Marie, I'm not going to call good, bads, good guys and bad guys. It's not in my role to call out good guys and bad guys. So, yeah, the growth is in China, and that's where I want to invest. Well, you know what? We're not speaking German today because the American business in the past didn't think that way. Yes. They stood with the United States. And all the pri privileges and the benefits and the stability and the rule of law and the ability to profit as they do, both as companies and individuals, comes from the strength of this country. Remember, when operating under communist rule, the foreigner is not in charge. You will never have 100 percent rule, not under Xi Jinping's leadership. The CCP has become more inward, more nationalistic under Xi than anyone expected during the past 50 years of engagement. The United States efforted a partnership with China during this 50-year engagement. The U.S. and the world ignored China's broken promises and their efforts to steal from the West. Our leaders thought... Maybe the CCP will see the benefits of democracy and freedom in Hong Kong and come to the middle, 
open up their markets to foreigners, encourage free and fair trade, adhere to the rules of the global road. That has not happened. The opposite has occurred. China bullies its neighbors, steals to win, and commits genocide on its people, according to both secretaries of states, Mike Pompeo and Anthony Blinken. The other thing not mentioned by Marr is another reason for Beijing's success. They apparently steal it. The Trump administration tried hard over a three-year period to get a trade deal that had teeth, one that included the CCP agreeing to stop the intellectual property theft, which has been costing U.S. companies hundreds of millions of dollars every year, now for decades. But the CCP refused to even admit that they were stealing our trade secrets and IP, despite a countless number of lawsuit settlements in plain sight between U.S. and Chinese companies over IP theft. How can you get them to stop stealing when they won't even admit to doing it? Hopefully, the Biden administration understands all of this and will not allow Beijing to continue taking advantage of the U.S. and the free world. Otherwise, the CCP's strategy of rob, replicate, and replace will continue to worsen. And yes, Bill Maher will be right. We will have lost to the China empire, or more precisely, democracy and freedom will have lost. And the result will be felt by all Americans. Do you really believe that your children and their children will have the same opportunities that you had growing up in a world where the Chinese Communist Party is the leading superpower of the world? where surveillance and a government-issued personal score will dictate whether or not you can even board a train? This is why the entire free world should want to stop the Chinese Communist Party from winning, from taking over. The sooner corporate America gets the memo, the better. The sooner our largest companies stop putting profits ahead of national security risks, the better. By rolling over and allowing the theft, bullying, and human rights abuses, U.S. companies are giving away our great country. Know this, by investing in those companies tied to the CCP's military, you are funding 